all fossil fuels is energy from sunlight. It's just not renewable because it's a one-time use. What generally do fish eat? Well, do they eat stuff in the ocean? Algae and stuff? Eat other fish. Yeah, but then who eat? Well, I'm getting there. Good one. Good one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is this is where I'm headed. Okay. This is turn us all the way down. That's all the way down. <laughs> but but it can't go all the way down. There's no such thing as a stable cannibal society. You need a source from the outside. So the big fish eats the littler fish, eats the littler fish, eats the littler fish. This goes all the way down until you get the plankton. There are two categories of plankton. One of them eats other life forms in the ocean. The other gets its energy from the sun. And they all live right at the surface where they can get sunlight. The sun is the ultimate source of all energy in the, in the typical fishes that we think of in the ocean. However, what's below, below the ocean? Well, you get through the crust, and below the crust is the mantle, and in the mantle is magma. And that heat wants to get out. And it gets out through volcanoes. Uh, through crevasses in the, in the bottom of the ocean, the mid-ocean ridge, we have discovered life forms that thrive on geochemical energy enabled by these hot vents at the bottom of the ocean. If someone plucked the sun out of the solar system and we fly off at a tangent into interstellar space, we will all die rapidly. But the life forms at the bottom of the ocean that are warm from the magma oozing up through the vents, They'll be just fine.